I'm currently working on whether exposure to stereotypes affect educational and occupational choices of individuals. I focus in particular on whether stereotypes are exacerbating the gender gap uh, and can explain the gap between natives and immigrants uh, in a lot of outcomes such as performance in standardized test scores. So let me give you a very simple example. In most OECD countries, boys are outperforming girls in their math uh, standardized test score and also they tend to be more confident than uh, girls in their performance in this uh, test. Uh, and also we know that women tend to be underrepresented in highly profitable fields like, such as like economics, finance, but also like technology uh, field. Um, so this is a potential loss of, for aggregate productivity in our economy. In my work, I study in particular whether exposure to stereotypes can actually explain at least part of this gender gap. In particular, I focus on the role of teacher gender stereotypes and how they can explain the performance in standardized test scores of boys and girls. So in a recent paper, in uh, the Italian context, I do find that exposing uh, girls, middle school girls, to teachers uh, that strongly associate math with boys actually have negative effects on their uh, performance standardized test score, but also in their self-confidence, how good they believe they are in math. One of the papers that has mostly influenced my research agenda is a recent paper, is a paper by uh, Manda Palles and co-author that is called Discrimination as a Self-Fulfilling Prophecy, uh, evidence from French grocery stores. In this paper, they show that uh, man, uh, the bias of manager can actually affect the performance of workers that are assigned to work with these managers. Um, they use in particular a tool that is called implicit association test in order to measure the bias of manager. So what I do in my research is actually inspired by their work. I use uh, the same tool that is called implicit association test to measure the stereotypes of teachers and I study how the stereotype of teacher can actually affect the performance uh, of students assigned to them. So behavioral economics can help reduce gender and race inequality. However, changing behavior and reducing discrimination can be very tricky. So people are often less ready to see bias in their own behavior compared to the bias they have in others. So I think more research is necessary in order to understand how to change people's behavior. And for instance, now, like in my research, I'm trying to do that with two approaches. So the first one is to try to work with, uh, uh, in the field with students in trying to decrease their exposure to stereotypes. And on the other hand, I'm working with like uh, people that are around them, like teachers or their parents, in order to increase their awareness on uh, stereotypes and hoping that these can help uh, affecting uh, um, their uh, actual discrimination toward uh, these uh, uh, stigmatized groups. I'm Michela Carlana, I'm an assistant professor of public policy at Harvard Kennedy School.